Hey everyone, I got a YouTube question that's come in here. The question is, uh, I wonder what would be the best place to start learning NLP? What's your first recommendation for a place to start? Well, the first thing, if you're looking to learn NLP is, there are hundreds and hundreds of books, there are hundreds and hundreds of courses. You could literally spend 10, 15 years learning NLP and still only be scratching the surface. So what I recommend is, if you want to learn NLP, set a goal, set something specific that you want to be able to do differently. Uh, so if you want to become a better persuader, if you want to use NLP, for example, on yourself to improve your own life, that would be another good thing. Or it might be that you want to become um, very good at sales, and so you're going to use the processes and techniques of NLP in a sales context. Whatever it is that you want to do, just decide ahead of time what you'd like to do in terms of what you want to be able to do differently what kind of behaviors and results would you like to be able to produce and then go and study NLP with that goal in mind because unfortunately the big mistake a lot of people come and make when they come into NLP is they try and learn everything they haven't got an application in mind and they only end up with mediocre results so if you want to avoid that I suggest that you actually pick a specific goal a specific area and a specific behavioral result that you want to be able to do differently uh, to improve your life Next part of the question is, how quickly could you expect results? Well, the cool thing with NLP is, it's a fantastic technology that can really help you improve pretty much any area of your life. How quickly you can expect results is pretty much right away. Depends on the context and how big the goal is. If you want to change your state, for example, and learn to be able to behave differently, uh, very quickly through some simple state processes, you can get a result right away, literally within minutes um, and seconds in many cases. If you have a much bigger goal, like let's say you want to persuade uh, your boss or employer to give you a promotion, a pay raise, etc., then the result is going to take a little bit longer and the time you're going to have to invest to get the skills to be able to make that happen, again, will be a lot longer. And that can be anything from days, months to years, depending again on what your outcome. But in terms of results, if you're using NLP well, you will actually get results right away. Third part of the question is how do you know if it's working? And that's a really good question. A lot of people uh, never figure out ahead of time how do you know if you've gotten the results. In NLP, uh, there's a model called the TOTE model, which you learn about, and if you're already familiar with NLP, you might know about this model, but one of the key components of that, and it's central anytime you're learning something, is to identify the criteria up front that let you know when it's working. And in NLP terms, we're always looking for behavioral differences. So it's not about you know, some fluffy uh, abstractions like you've got more confidence or you feel um, more happy. We want to tie it down to behavioral terms. So in the, con in the context of persuasion, you might say that, for example, you're getting a yes more from your boss, that uh, indeed they're offering you the promotion that you want, or if it's a gradual persuasion process that you notice that before their beliefs and worldview about the, the particular topic in question has begun to shift. And so now they're more aligned to the kind of beliefs and worldview that they would need to have in order for them to take the action that you're looking for them to take. In the context of uh, change work and personal change work, how you know it works is that you will feel differently yeah, in terms of before, let's just say, common one, a dating context, you might be nervous going into a bar picking up a girl or a guy. Well, the cool thing is that when you run through some processes and use NLP well on yourself, you'll find that the thoughts and feelings that you fire in one context no longer fire in that context and you'll have they'll be replaced with a different set of thought and feelings and responses so that's how you know you're going to actually see a behavioral difference in uh, in what you're doing okay if you've got any other questions stuff you want to know about NLP then one subscribe to the channel two uh, submit your questions just ping me a question when I get a chance to record a new video and I'll uh, give you some input thanks for watching Thank you.